Why is there a gap in this roundabout sign? Why does this roundabout have so many exits? And what's that line in the bottom corner of this sign? <laughs> As we approach the roundabout, we look for the road sign on the left, and we notice that A264 is in brackets. So why is it in brackets? Well, if it's in brackets, it means leading towards. So following the road ahead leads towards the A264. A23, however, is not in brackets, so this means the road ahead is the A23. As we approach this next roundabout, we now notice A264, which is still in brackets, is towards the right. So turning right, third exit, leads towards the A264. The actual name of the road towards the right is the A2220. Looking at the road sign and approach this next roundabout, you may notice an extra line in the bottom left corner. It's quite hard to notice from this sign as the tree is a bit overgrown, but let's look at the sign further down the road. You should now be able to see more clearly what I mean. That extra line means for turning left there is a filter lane. So what is a filter lane? Let's have a look. So for turning left first exit I go down this bit of road, effectively bypassing the roundabout. Now looking at the road signs here, I can see the left lane is going to be left only to Superstore. I don't want to go there, so I'm checking my middle and right mirror, signalling right, and as it's safe, moving lanes. It's quite common you have to merge your traffic after doing the filter lane, so be aware of this and be ready for this. If you've ever looked carefully at a roundabout sign, you may have noticed there was a gap in the bottom right corner. The reason for this gap is to encourage you to go round the roundabout the correct way, i.e. clockwise. Now to you, this may seem a bit strange, why would you try and go round the roundabout the wrong way? It's more aimed at the foreign drivers, who in their country may go round the roundabouts the other way, i.e. anti-clockwise. This sign is trying to say to them there is no route anti-clockwise. You must go round clockwise. This road sign is from France, and in France they drive on the other side of the road and go round their roundabouts anti-clockwise. Notice they also have gaps on their signs, but because they drive on the other side of the road, their gap is on the left, saying you must go round the roundabout anti-clockwise. There is no route to go round clockwise. Looking at the next road sign, you could believe Brighton A23 is the full exit but it's actually the third exit. Let's have a look at that in more detail. On these types of signs, they often put both the exits and entrances. If, for example, we look at London M23, there's two lines pointing in the same direction. One of them is the exit for the M23, the other is the entrance from the M23. So you must not turn down here, otherwise you will be going down the motorway the wrong way. When reading these road signs, you must not have in your head that anything that is a short stub is not an exit. This is not correct. Look at the top of the sign. There is a short stub at the top of the sign at about 11 o'clock on the clock face. This is an exit, despite it being a short stub. It's the exit to Peas Pottage Services. The way to think about it, if there's ever two lines going in exactly the same direction, it is the same exit. It is just showing both the exit and the entrance from that direction. I've now put the relevant exit numbers on the sign. So London M23 is the first exit. The stub directly after that is pointing the same direction, so it's not an exit. Then you can see the second exit and the third exit for Brighton A23 the stub after Brighton is not an exit, and then you've got the fourth exit, which is for Horsham, A264. At the roundabout, I'm going to be following the road ahead, second exit for Peas Pottage Services. Approaching the roundabout, you can see there's no road markings, 
saying the left lane is left only. So I treat the roundabout as a normal roundabout. You use the left lane for going ahead, second exit, with no signal required on approach to the roundabout. As we enter the roundabout, we're going to pass the first exit for London M23. We can see the road markings confirming the left lane is for services Peas Pottage. We're now crossing the bridge, and then the other side of the bridge is the entrance from the M23, which is on the road sign. And here is the second exit for Peas Pottage services. The road sign on the right confirms this. Have a look at my picture so you can see which ones are not the exits. So we do not want to count these. Brighton A23 is the first exit. Horsham A264 is the second exit. Crawley A23 is the third exit. And London M23 is the fourth exit. We're going to go towards Crawley A23. As you can see from the road sign, it's off to the right slightly. So we're going to be using the right lane for the right signal. So, middle mirror, right mirror, right signal. Keeping near the centre line and position to the right lane. To our left, we can see the first exit, which was towards Brighton, A23. We can also see the road markings confirming we're in the correct lane for Crawley, A23. As we cross the bridge, we can see the entrance from the A23, which is on the road sign. We can also see the exit for Horsham A264. Our exit is the next exit, so we check our middle and left mirror, signal left, and then move across the left lane if it's safe to do so. And here's the third exit. Look carefully at this road sign, and you may notice the line for the road going ahead towards Hand Cross is thicker than the line coming across from Slougham. This means the traffic going ahead towards Hand Cross has priority. The traffic coming from the sides coming from Slougham has to give way. Using the thickness of the lines to tell who's got priority works on all road signs. When you're reading road signs, you always read it as you're coming from the bottom at 6 o'clock on a clock face. On this warning sign, you'll notice the road you're coming down is thicker than the side roads, so it means you have priority. The two roads from the sides give way to you. And on this road sign, you'll notice the thick line carries on round to the left, so it means the main road goes round to the left and you have priority over traffic from the right. You can tell as the road to the right has a thinner line. 